Also right. fan TV, Chris. Right. Now you do, you just heard uh, troops talking. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, he's, 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 he's very angry. Yeah, I, I, I could give you those subtitles there, some Jamaican subtitles. He's very angry at the moment. And a lot of fans are very angry with the first day. And we, we, we were talking the other day when we was over in um, Sweden, and we were saying, I, I, I was saying to you, why haven't we bought these players? And it's kind of come on to roost today. First of all, before we talk about us, which will take up 90% of the interview, just two small things. Firstly, that was a fantastic game of football. I know you don't want to hear that as an Arsenal fan, but if we'd won 4-3, you'd be saying great game, okay? Secondly, secondly, the best team won. Liverpool are outstanding today. Second half, they were unbelievable. They played us off the park. It wasn't just the world-class goals they scored. No, I agree with you 100%. So part, they, their, their third goal, they put about 30 passes together. They out-Arsenaled us. I mean, uh, the fourth goal was a fantastic finish, and they were they were brilliant. And this is the team that blew away Man United, Dortmund, Barcelona last week. It wasn't that much of a surprise, really. But even with our first well, team, oh, that's great, oh, no, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're at home, and we don't want no team to come blowing us away because we're like, you know, we're Arsenal awesome Football Club. We've got quality players. Why are these teams coming and being able to blow us away? I think Liverpool would have, you're underestimating Liverpool, they would have blown most teams away. But can I just say, the most important, mo we were playing well, we played well today. In the first half, we were controlling the match, to be honest. In the second half, we capitulated. You know, the most, yeah, the most important part of the game was Coutinho's free kick. We were going in half-time, 1-0 up, that goes in, suddenly the momentum has completely shifted, they come out flying. Chris, in the second half, we capitulated. And the worst thing about it is we've seen it many, many times with Arsenal. A team, I don't see Bayern, these sort of teams that we aspire to be, on a regular basis concede four, five, six goals. It's just not good enough. When did we do that last season? We didn't capitulate that much last season. But I'm just saying... There's, there's been many a time goals. we've conceded like five, six goals over the lot past couple of years. This is the Premier League. This is right. You're going to have to get used to a lot of highs and lows this season. All I'll say don't panic. There's 380 games in this Premier League season. Anyone that's writing us off after one game is a fool. Right? There's going to be many highs and lows. We lost at home to West Ham on the first day of last season. We came second. I'm not saying that's a great achievement. I'm just saying we're, we're, we had a, you know, a decent season. Man United lost to Villa 3-1 in the 90s. They went on to win the league comfortably. This season, the Premier League is going to be extremely competitive and there's going to be highs and lows for every team, especially after an international tournament in the summer. It's not really until September you're going to see everyone match fit, the big teams starting to roll. There's going to be a lot of surprise results at the start of the season. This isn't, well, why, a, this why, isn't a Liverpool a top team, they're a rival. And on that, why were all these players rested? I mean, as somebody, po as somebody pointed out, yeah, I mean, why is Ozil rested? Why is Koscielny rested? Well, we saw players like Bakary Sanya playing, other players that played in the Euro, even, even today Aaron Ramsey was playing. Why is, he, why is he playing and everybody else has been rested? I'm not privy to the players' condition, what sort of state they've come back in from holiday. I agree with you, we seem to rest players. But you seem more. to give them the rest even way before any decision had been, you know, any assessment had been made. He immediately said that, yeah, none of those guys are going to figure because they're on holiday. Yeah. I mean, pay a lot of money to come here. I mean, we don't want to hear about holidays. We want to see our best players out there. I trust the conditioning team and Arsenal to make the right choices in terms of who's best placed. We've got a massive squad. Our squad in, squad in depth is amazing. We should be able to rest these players and we've got quality players to play in their place. I mean, that was one of the positives today, Walcott. I know he missed a penalty, but still, he scored. He took... He had confidence to step up and take it, and he scored uh, shortly afterwards. And, you know, he looks lean. He had a really good pre-season. We should be playing players that have had a whole pre-season behind them, not just chucking in a name like Ozil just because it's the first game. But the, what you were saying earlier about how we crumbled, I don't 100% agree with that. I agree that we were naive defensively, but it was a mixture of us being naive and also Liverpool being brilliant. Um, but I really felt, you'll laugh, but I actually think we really missed Giroud from a defensive standpoint today because Alexis was so isolated up front. Nothing was being stuck up front, no headers were being won, no link-up play. There was no outlet for our team. You defend as a team. I don't want all the attention to go on uh, Chambers and Holding today because that would be unfair. They're two youngsters developing. I just felt as a whole team, we, we just lost it for those 25 minutes. But uh, again, you have to... Put it in perspective, and Liverpool did play brilliantly. But so finally, can we win the league? Can we win the league this season. That's what we all want. No. Every, 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 every Arsenal fan wants to win the league. Can we do it? I was thinking about that, and the answer struck me in pre-season. 
If we move to Norway, we will win the league. <laughs> Honestly, I think we will do it. We, we beat one of their I'm best teams. I'm being serious now. I'm being serious. We, we, can we win the league? Yes, of course we can. I, I would say that even if Man U and Man City lost, I wouldn't, you wouldn't be writing them off. We just played one of our rivals. Trust me, Arsenal are not going to get going until September. We always suffer post an international tournament after a summer. I, believe, I actually think we've got the best squad in the Premier League. Whether, you know, whether we've got the best 11 is debatable. But even without getting any extra additions, I still believe we have got the squad in depth. Who, who wins is going to come down to fine details, but just don't lose the faith. I was really upset with the fans that left at 4-1 today and that were booing the team at the end. This is, there's a long way to go. I think we'll be alright at Leicester next week. It's a good time to play them. It was the midfield. The midfield just completely opened up like the like Moses was there in front of them like and they allowed Liverpool to come straight through on holding and Chambers they can't do it all on their own